All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we are doing a client interview with Coach Nick. And Coach Nick is a basketball coach from New Jersey. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have Nick share his progress within our program, you know, what he was doing before we met, what he's doing now, and just his overall experience um, of working together in our one-on-one -on -one program. And if you're a coach watching this and you want to reach out to coach Nick, um, you can follow him on Instagram. So Nick, what's your handle on Instagram? At coach underscore Aldero. Cool. And I'll put that somewhere on the video. Um, if you guys are a basketball coach, follow Nick. How many uh, followers do you have right now on Instagram? Uh, 71. Thousand. <laughs> 71,000. I have like 71 <laughs> on Instagram. You have 71,000. So he's got a big following there. Um, go check him out. And so Nick, tell me, tell me more about just before we started working together, tell me like what you were doing within your business. What were you working on? Like, what were you struggling with? So I, I would say I was struggling with parents, parents basically not treating me like a business. So like they wouldn't pay me right away. They would wait to pay me. You know, I was only doing cash or Venmo. I didn't have, I didn't really have like a good system. Um, and so that was in person and same thing online. Like every, nothing was, nothing was organized to be a real true business basically. Mm -hmm. So, and everything was sporadic. I didn't know how much income was coming in. I didn't have anything tracking it because the system I was using was just, it just wasn't organized. Right. Right. Yeah. And I remember on our first call that we had, that was something you mentioned was, you know, parents would be interested and then they just wouldn't commit or they would just, they would just kind of pay sporadically or pay whenever they wanted to. Right. Um, and I know that's something that we worked on. We started to switch how you did that. Um, and tell everyone, because I know you do a lot of stuff online and you're starting to do more in person as well. Uh, without going into too much detail, like what's your, what's your role within your business? Like who, what kind of kids do you work with and what kind of training do you do? So I would say the, t the kind of kids you meet age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I work with, I've got second graders and I have, well, online, I've got a 21 year old kid in my zoom. I've got, I got 26 year old people for my shooting program. So it's all different. Um, like I said, it's from second grade to up until a grown adult. I got coaches. I, I got a coach who's probably my age or older and I'm going to be 36. So I got coaches, I got kids. In person, I would say I got, it's usually grades second up into middle school, second mm -hmm. through eighth grade right now. So I got an elementary school group in person. And today I had our first uh, middle school group. Uh, it rained, unfortunately. So we had to do Zoom. Um, but mm -hmm. I told, just like you told me, they said, like I told them ahead of time, if it rains, this is Zoom. I put it in, I put it in terms and conditions. I put attached it. I said to them, read the attachment before you sign up okay. so they all know you know even though they don't like it because their kids are so used to being on on zoom for school lately because of everything mm -hmm. that they're like i got i got moms texting me saying oh looks looks like we're good to go i'm like you know hold on and, and i th actually thought of you and i was like i'm not gonna let this lady dictate my right. program right if, god forbid if a kid goes to chase a ball even when i tell even if i tell a kid all right we're gonna do stationary ball handling and don't run if a kid goes and chases his ball and he slips and falls and cracks his skull open, I'm going to be Your negligent, ball. right? So, like, I, at first I was like, yeah, maybe we can do it. And then I thought of you and I was like, don't let this, don't let this lady boss you around. So right. I was like, canceled. I'll see you on Zoom. Right. And that was your idea because – and now – because if before, before I talked to you, I would have just been like, all right, the rain date is – and then it's, it shit would have been all over the place, you know, and – and maybe some parents want the rain date, but it's just unorganized. It's like, right. what if it rains on, what if it, if it rains today? Okay. The rain date's tomorrow. Then it rains on Friday. What do, now what do we do? Like, right. I can't make it, you know? 
Right. Well, I, Johnny's got this. We've got to go visit my aunt. You know. Right. So yep. like, so I went off on a little tangent there, but no, was, no, you're good because because you're that was one of the the things I I really wanted to to hammer down with you was running your business on your terms versus right. versus running like letting the parents run your business. And I know that's a very common problem. And when you, when you were telling me that I was laughing in my head because this was about eight years ago. Uh, if it would, if there'd be like one cloud in the sky, there'd be a parent who'd be like, Hey Ben, it's going to rain today. We're not gonna be able to make it. <laughs> <It'd be> like, <laughs> literally one cloud in the sky. We're, we're training. Uh, and, and the same thing on the flip side, uh, if it was like pouring outside, there'd be parents that would be like, yeah, like we're, we're good to train today. And it would be like, they would make the decision instead of me. Um, right. That's, that's exactly what happened today. That she, she was trying, she was trying to do. Right. And she didn't even ask me. She wasn't even like, Hey coach, is it a possibility? She's like, Hey Nick, we're good to go today. I was like, Whoa. I was like, Whoa. Right. Oh, who the hell are you lady? Right. Well, Cause like, you know, she just, that's just the type of person. She, that was the only parent that did that. But like, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I, I, I immediately thought of you and I was like, don't let this lady tell you what to do. Right. Yeah. No. And it's good. It's good that you run it that way now because now it's, now it's more simple for you. It's like, if this happens, you do this. If uh, you have a sales call, this happens. So it's w with having those systems in place, it, it makes your business not only more professional, it's just going to be easier to run long term, especially when you deal with uh, a higher volume of parents. Um, and that, that is something that, man, I'll tell you, that, that was one of my biggest struggles. And I just had to change my approach with how I talk to parents and what my expectations are. And that's something I know you and I talked about a bunch, uh, over the last couple of months here. Uh, okay, cool. So I know like most, most people who, who don't know who you are, they, they don't know this about you, but you have an online coaching program. Uh, I mean, you have a couple of those now because we talked about the shooting program, um, that you've developed, um, and the zoom program. So you have those things set up and you have the in-person program. And I haven't asked you this yet, uh, but I'm curious to know what your response is. It's like, I know when we started working together, it was during coronavirus time. Um, and the option during that point was online coaching because no one wanted to work in person. Right. Uh, do you realize how, I mean, it's, it's important I ask you this now because like you are able to see kids in person right now. Um, but do you realize like the impact that you had on kids globally during that time when online was the option? Like, has that sunk in yet with you? Cause like you're training kids from multiple countries. Yeah. I mean, even if there wasn't anything going on, I would have to, I had no choice but to train them online, but that's what got me started was like, you know, that it's possible. So mm -hmm. now you, like you said, like now it's, it happens all the time. I got a kid from France. I got a, I got two people from Spain, Peru, Mexico, um, you know, all over. Right. Right. It's crazy, right? Really? Yeah. <laughs> right. And it's cool because, and I, I know I've already told you this. So like, this is going to feel like annoying. Cause I've said this to you a lot, especially the past couple of weeks, but like it, it's so much more fun for me when I get to work with someone who's like you, who's just like head down, work hard, like just get after it. Like you didn't make one excuse the whole time since we started working together. You weren't questioning what I was telling you to do. You just like followed through with it. And, and it's funny, like when you sent me that screenshot the other day of how, how you were doing before we started together and how you're doing now, um, you don't have to go into that much detail, but like, tell, tell everyone before we started working together, like how was your business going before we started together? So like I said before, I was doing, I was doing decently good in person because I had a basketball season going on and I had access to a free gym basically. Cause I was coaching girls basketball. 
-hmm. But again, it was like random nights. People would sometimes show up, sometimes not. You know, one parent stiffed me out of seventy dollars. So like, I was making money, but like every time, like I got that anxious feeling of like, "You're gonna pay now," type of thing, mm -hmm. because you know I didn't have the gym was very sporadic, so I didn't have a system in place, which I really couldn't because of the. So I was doing okay, but it was like giving me a little bit of anxiety because of the non-system. So. And, and I was doing an online thing where, where I was charging way too little. I had a website that was terrible. <laughs> I, I picked a partner. <laughs> I picked a partner who really didn't understand the sports business. Mm. And that's where I wish I found you sooner mm. and started with you right away because like you've done it, you've been there and you've proven it and you helped other people. So like, you know, I'm making, I went from making like $50 from when I started my site to, you know, over $8,000 since I first started working with you. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you just, you did what, what you told me wasn't like, it wasn't like earth shattering, shattering information, but it was like, it was, it was just, I needed to apply it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it was just, you just told me what works and you know, I just did it. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't have that structure before. I, honestly, I just didn't know what the hell I was doing. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. I feel like you, you know, you taught me basically how to fish. What's the, whatever that saying is. What's, yeah. You know? <laughs> that's my goal, man. That, that's my goal. And, and that's why it's funny you're talking about it. It's not earth shattering information. And, and like for me. No, but it's still great. I'm not saying it's not, you know, it's, it's still right. awesome. Yeah, and it's like I've I've made I've made a point to tell people this, especially recently. Like, I'm not the information coach. I I don't like to just give out info. I like to tell people follow these steps and just execute. That's it. And I I like to be as simple as possible. And and I look at and I feel confident saying this on here, and other people are going to see this. Uh, but I look at where you're at right now with your business and I feel like you're just scratching the surface um, because I remember very vividly and I don't know if you remember this. I do. Um, we were talking on the phone and you mentioned to me that you like hated doing sales. Remember that? Yeah. And, well, and I mean, I was, <laughs> I was afraid. I was afraid to do I'm still kind of afraid, but I just, I just did it. Right. Yeah. And I remember it's funny, like you told me about that and you were talking about how you, you don't enjoy sales. You don't like it. And I remember you said, you, you said I suck at sales. Right. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even try it. <laughs> yeah. And then tell, tell everyone though, like, cause I know you left a, a voice note on my Facebook message the other day. You talked about how you like had a full day of sales calls. Um, like tell everyone how that day went when you just like, you said you sat on the couch and <laughs> you said you were like sweating on the couch or something. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I like, I like indented the couch because I was sitting there for so long. Cause I don't have, I don't have like a, I don't have like an office. So like I use, I just use like this like little desk here and I put it on my couch on the end of it. So yeah. I was sitting there for so long, just making sales calls. It, I was, it was like 12 to 16 hours. I don't remember what it was like. And usually like, you know, I have like a workout routine and like basketball routine. And I was just like, I, I don't, I literally did not have, I had all these scheduled times with a little bit of time in between, but I was just, it was just going, 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 sending out, you know, invoices. And, but it felt good once, you know, I got that notification that saying, uh, Miss, Miss Jones signed up, you right. know, like, over and over again and just from having a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And, and I think that's one thing that a lot of people that I talked to initially, I don't think they, they understand is like the, the only way to elevate the business is to start honing more on marketing and just having more calls and having more offers. And I know that's, that's the thing that you and I spend a lot of time with is, 
is dialing the offers in um, with the Zoom coaching you're doing, dialing in the offer with the shooting program that you have, um, and the same with the in-person training. And tell everyone like now just with how you are with your process as far as someone it raises their hand, they say they want help, and then we lead them to the sales call and all that. Do you, how smooth do you feel like that process is now compared to it was before we started working together? Well, I didn't have a process. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't have, like, I didn't have one. So it's, like I said, it was, it was hard for me to, to get going because I, I never like, I never did it before. So I was like, I was afraid, you know, I dreaded like saying the price at the end of the conversation. I'm still a little hesitant on that, but you know, I've made, I look at my, like my spreadsheet and I've made over like, I don't know, between 40, 50, maybe 60 calls. And it's just, it just got smoother. Like I set up my laptop, I got my phone, I got my earbuds in, I got my iPad with my script, you know, I follow it. I try not to say the person Mike's name on there because <laughs> I think that's not their kid's name, right. but like, it's just, I take notes. I'm like, so I got my notes. I got my computer out for notes. I got my script. My phone is right here. And I got a Google voice. So I don't have my real number. And it's just, it's just smooth. And I know now I know about them because I have it right in front of me. So I you know I can go back and follow up with them and ask them, you know, and mention their kid's name. Mm -hmm. I did it today. Like, you know, is, are you ready to sign Ryan up or right? still have to master the follow up, but you know. Right. No, it's awesome, man. Cause I, I, I've, I had a conversation with someone earlier and he, this guy was in a position of, he, he wants to go from where he is right now to a completely different level. Um, and we were talking about, I said, well, how many sales calls have you had in the last seven days? And he was like, Oh, let me, let me go find out. And I was like, if you don't know what that number is, you're not ready to go to that level yet. Like we should always know what that number is. That number should be clear on the whiteboard or on the journal or on the, the computer. Um, and, and I told him, it's like, the success that you're going to have in your business, it's all going to come down to the volume of, of calls that you have and the volume of marketing that you're doing. And that's, I'll tell you, like, it's one of the biggest reasons why you've done well for the last couple of months is you've hammered out those calls, but you've done a freaking awesome job of being consistent, getting people to get on calls. And that, that to me has been kind of the game changer for you is, is not just doing social media, but doing social media to drive sales calls. Right. And that's um, one of the biggest things that I, or just, just drive some type of interaction. Yeah. You know, just like, cause it's a lot of people from other countries, but as long as I get them to communicate, like I've had, I've had a lot of people from not, not very um, affluent countries still pay. Right. Like, and even if I didn't, I, and even though I, I didn't have a sales call with them because like, of the, the overseas, I have a video, you know, I have a video where I say the off, I tell them everything that's in the video. I have them, you know, or I have their parents email me and I say, it's very clear, but now I'm, everything is directed to them purchasing something as opposed to me just, you know, blindly, you know, putting shit out. Right. Now I'm, I'm guiding you basically every day. Like I, I would, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with not working at my job anymore. Right. Right. And I, this is what I do all day. Yeah. Yeah. That's Literally why, all day. That's why you're going to be really successful it's because it means a lot to you and you're, you're disciplined. You're not just one day motivated to go work hard. Um, and, and it's, it's a testament too to the kids that are in your program that are staying, that are joining your program that are getting results. Like, that to me is, that's the clear cut sign of a good business owner that's within training is your clients are happy. They're getting results. They're getting better. Like I've seen some clips that you posted um, the other day about your shooting program. Like 
it was something, I think it was like day one and this kid was shooting and then like day six or seven, it was like a radical difference. And that's why you're going to continue to get clients because you're pumping out results. Um, and that's because you have a, a great program. And, um, so if you had to, if you had to, let's say someone, let's say it was a coach and they messaged you on Instagram, they're like, Hey, uh, tell me more about Ben's program. Like what, what did you get out of it? Like in one or two sentences, what, what would you tell someone who's like on the fence of working with me either one-on-one or in our group coaching program that we have? What would I tell somebody who's on the fence? Mm -hmm. I would say that the cost, the cost of not doing it is going to cost you more than doing it. Does that make sense? Right. Because like, you know, I never, I've never had a coach like that. I mean, I've had, you know, I have like a training organization that I have, but like, and that I'm not working with that person directly, but I've never, I've never hired somebody like to work with me one-on-one, like how we work together. Like, I don't never talk to that guy who, who I, who I'm a part of the training organization where I do learn a lot from, but I don't have conversations with them. Mm-hmm. So like, I've never done it before, but now I wish I didn't, I've done it. I did it earlier mm-hmm. because like I said before, like when I said, mentioned, you taught me how to fish. Like I, it's invaluable information for me now going, moving forward because I have the system. Well, I don't have these, I have a system down that's working for me right now. Obviously I can learn more. Um, but sorry, that's more than one sentence. That's no. what I about, but, You're good. No. Yeah. But, and I to- totally understand what you're saying. And it's, it's funny you said that about like the cost of not doing it. <clears throat> I've always, I've always looked and traced back people who've helped me with my business, like mentors that I've had. I have the same sort of mindset that you just said. It's like, it's either going to take me five years to figure this out right. or I'm going to invest into someone who's, who's ahead of me and learn. Um, and that's why, that's why there's a big difference between like in my head, investing into a program. And I look at the same way with parents when they, when they pay you, it's like, there's right. a big difference between investing exactly. into a coach and just like paying a fee. Right. Um, Cause when you invest into something, it's like, you're looking to, to be committed to it and, and really gain something from someone who has already achieved something that you, that you want to do. Um, that's why, that's why my program, it's not for everybody. Like I get hit up all the time by people who are, are tire kickers that they want to join, but they're not willing to invest in the program. They, they want to try to get a deal or something like that. Those are people I, I never help. Um, that's why, when I bring on someone like you onto this interview, it's like, it's easy for me to help someone who's fully committed because I know that they're going to do the work. And right. that's why, man, I, I, I get excited helping people like you because you're, you're the person that ultimately follows through. It's not, it's not me knocking on your door at four o'clock in the morning and being like, Hey, Nick, you need to go do your pull-ups today. And then by the way, you need to, <laughs> you need to go do this. Like you're the one who, who put in the effort and, and followed through. So I'm curious to know, um, if you look at the trajectory of, you know, where you are now, where you want to go, like, where do you think you would want to be with your business in a year from now? And I know that's a tough question, but in terms of what, the, like, like financially wise? Yeah, or? I'd say just straight up financially. In a year? Mm-hmm, 12 months from now. What do I, what do I want? Or what do I think is uh, realistic for me? Either. Because what you want is realistic. Right. <laughs> Unless you're talking like, I want a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so I want... I want, I'll tell you like non-money wise first and I'll tell you money wise. Mm -hmm. I want to be comfortable leaving my teaching job and be at six figures Mm -hmm. and then, 
and then keep keep going. I want to get better every every year. And I know I'm nowhere near that right now, and I haven't figured it out. But I know there is people who who have done it. So yeah, I know I know I can do it if I fully commit. So yeah, that would be. I want to comfortably leave my leave my teaching job because I don't want anyone to tell me what to do. Like I had a hand in a key for work. I'm getting, I'm getting phone calls. Um, Nick, come hand in your key for your key. You gotta be here. And so, and then they're telling me like, Oh, don't go on social media during school hours. I'm like, what do you, what do you want me to be doing? Like, yeah. I don't have, there is no school. And like, that made me feel like even more like I got to get the hell out of here. Mm-hmm. Like, and they were, the person was trying to help me, but it was like, I don't want you to tell me what to do. Like mm-hmm. I want to be my boss. And I wish I started this right out of college and I wish I had a mentor like you at a, at a college, so I could have just started, but you know, I can't do anything about it now. So yeah, I want to be full time in the basketball training business online in person. And I want to be making six figures. Right. Great. Yeah, and you're, you're on the path to do it. And I'll, I'll share the story here. Um, there was a coach, about three years ago, uh, we had a, our first conversation. Uh, I'm not going to say his name because I know a lot of people that watch this are going to go hit him up and he doesn't like talking to people. <laughs> um, but he was, I would say, very similar to how you were when you started with me. Um, and once we once we started to get the the wheels in motion with what he was doing he started to to change his his process with not only how he deals with clients but how he how he thought about his business um and last month and i i feel good talking about this on here with you because like i want this to really encourage you and and show you what's possible yeah uh last month he did thirty thousand in one month that's what I want. I and it. like we, I looked at his business last month and, and I, I looked at how he's doing things, how he's operating. Uh, and we looked at some tweaks and that's during coronavirus. Like that's, that's, that's without like doing any in-person training. And I see a lot of people that message me all the time that like, because I talk about some of that stuff on YouTube um, about previous coaches we've helped and we have a page that has tons of results. And I know online, it's so easy to, to be like, Oh, that's BS. Cause like there's so many BS people out there online now. Um, and I, I show you that though, because it was about three years ago. He was really, really struggling with his business and he wanted to give up. Um, and when, when we started working together, it's not like I saved his life. Like I, I, I'm not a miracle worker, <laughs> but we just got him on the right path. He started taking action. And I know that he has his business to a certain point that I know you can absolutely get to. And I know he has his business set up right now to where he can get to very close to the person that I'm helping right now that's generating the most revenue. Um, it's a guy who's doing, uh, right now he's doing over 65,000 per month. <laughs> right. And it sounds that's crazy, so but, awesome. but the thing is that's so awesome. their, their whole day is revolved around this, like taking more calls and marketing and they have, they both have systems in place to make their sales easy. And because they have a lot of confidence and they've spent years working on, you know, over the phone, getting better at marketing. Um, and both of these people are like, I would say pretty irrelevant on social media. Really? <laughs> yes. And, and that's, and that's the thing is, like they they were able to to just dominate their local market 
And then once they had that, I mean, cause they could flip on zoom when, when the coronavirus happened, they could flip zoom on, do all of their training there, um, do a lot of their mentoring there. Right. Um, and it's been one of those things that's, that's really cool to track because I know like you're in a position right now where no one's going to stop you. No one's going to be in front of you. No one's going to say, Hey, you can't make that many offers on Instagram. <laughs> um, or you can't take this many sales calls today. Like no, no one's going to babysit you and tell you what you can or you can't do. And when you said earlier, <laughs> you're like, I hate being told what to do, uh, from your other job. When you have that level of urgency, it makes it easier to run a business full time because you are driven towards doing something that has 100% freedom and flexibility if you work your nuts off. Right. Like, and, and that's what a lot of people don't get is they, they crave doing their own thing, but they don't know the work that's required to do that. Um, right. And you do like you, you know what's required and, and I'm excited for you, man. Um, I know I just talked a bunch there. That's uh, <laughs> the point of this interview is not for me to chat um, it's for YouTube, but Tell, tell, I guess before we go here, tell, tell everyone where they can find you again on social media. Uh, at coach Aldero underscore cool. at coach underscore Aldero. Cool. And guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you just look at Nick's shirt, that's how you spell uh, his last name there. Um, any last second comments you have about, the experience working together or anything you want people to know about just our program or anything? Um, I would say that it's, it's well worth the investment. Cause like, like I said before, and I was, cause I, I've always been taught like, save your money. Don't spend anything. Like, cause that's just like, cause my dad taught, learned that from his dad. And it's like, right. generational. If that I, you know, if I, if I, if I, paid somebody money to help me It'd be like, well, why would you do that? You could have had that money in the bank and you could, right. but like, that's the opposite. That's, that's, what's going to keep you, keep you down. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, what's going to keep me being a, being a teacher and, and going to school every day and being told what to do and never mm -hmm. in order, in order to be, I, f I heard this quote, great quote, in order to be, in order to be rich, you got to risk being poor. Mm -hmm. And that like, just like struck with me, like, I got to stop, excuse my life, being a bitch and being mm -hmm. like, I'm I, cause I was, I'm just, you know, I'm just scared, mm -hmm. but like, you gotta, you gotta jump. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to do that with, in terms of me personally, I'm still trying to jump in terms of like my personal life of like into the book business full time. I've been lucky because, you know, Corona hit and I've been able to do this full time. Like I would have been at school, like right. I would have been at school today. Like I couldn't make sales calls at at school, you know, handing out straws to Timmy at fucking lunch duty. Like, <laughs> right. You know, as much as I like try to do business stuff on the side, but like, and that's where I'm torn, but like, I need to, I need to jump. And I think other people need to jump to, because it's worth it. I mean, if you're, if you're willing to work, it's worth it. If you're not, if you're not willing to put in the work, then right. don't, don't do it. But if you, if you are hardworking and you're willing to, to listen and follow directions and do what somebody says who knows more than you, then, then absolutely go for it. Right.